Hello and welcome to another episode of Morrowind Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to cover some useful combat tips and show you how to deal with some of the tougher enemies in Morrowind. Morrowind is a game that doesn't scale enemies to your level, which means that you can encounter enemies very early on in the game that are either way too strong for you or easily outnumber you. This can be very challenging and frustrating, especially if you're not prepared or skilled enough. That's why I'm going to share with you some of the best tips and tricks to overcome these situations and survive in the harsh world of Morrowind. Now my first tip is going to be just use Sujama. Sujama is a cheap and common alcoholic drink that can boost your strength and damage output significantly. Sujama can be found in many taverns and shops across Vardenfell, but the best places to buy it are from Farah in Sadrith Mora or from the Mudcrab Merchant near Vivek. These merchants have an infinite supply of Sujama, and you can buy as many bottles as you want by simply closing and reopening the trade window. Sujama will increase your strength by 50 points for one minute per bottle, and you can stack this effect by drinking multiple bottles at once. This will make your melee attacks much more powerful and allow you to kill enemies in just a few hits. However, be careful not to drink too much, as Sujama will also lower your intelligence and willpower, making you more vulnerable to magic attacks and diseases. Excessively high strength levels will also cause you to destroy your weapons much faster with use, sometimes lasting only one or two hits in the most extreme cases. My second tip is going to be to isolate enemies when you are dealing with groups, and also to use the terrain and your weapons advantages to your favor. Groups of enemies can be very dangerous in Morrowind, as they can surround you and overwhelm you with their attacks. The best way to avoid this is to lure them one by one or in small groups and fight them in places where they can't flank you or outnumber you. You can use obstacles, narrow passages, doors, bridges, or cliffs to create choke points or bottlenecks where you can fight them more easily. You can also use your weapon's reach or speed to hit them from a safe distance or interrupt their attack. For example, if you have a spear or a claymore, you can hit them before they hit you with their shorter weapons. On the other hand, if you have a dagger or a short sword, you can hit them faster than they hit you with their slower weapons. My third and final tip is going to be use a custom spell of levitate one point for 60 seconds on target to immobilize melee enemies. This is a very useful and cheap spell that can make any melee enemy move very slowly and unable to reach you. You can create this spell at any mage's guild or temple by talking to a spellmaker NPC. Just create a spell with levitate as its effect and set the magnitude to one point and the duration to 60 seconds on target. To use this spell you will need to target an enemy that doesn't use ranged attacks, such as a warrior or a beast. Then cast the spell on them and watch them float into the air like a balloon. You can then finish them off with your spells or ranged weapons without any risk. Anyways, these are just some of the best ways to deal with tougher enemies and groups of enemies in Morrowind. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, make sure to leave a like, it definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content. Of course, as always, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. But yeah, with that being said, it's been Plock the Master Gamer with some Morrowind tips and tricks, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.